Hey guys, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial with PixelMeb. In this episode, I'm going to talk about uh, images on your website. Uh, we always want to make sure we optimize our website for performance, and, and that sometimes means decreasing um, the file size of an image. But what if you're a photographer? What if you're selling these images? Um, you know, for as part of your business. Well, then you may not want to have these images automatically compressed. Well, by default, <clears throat> WordPress compresses images that you upload to your website um, down from 100% to 90%. And that may not be something you want to have happen. So how do you prevent that from happening? Well, there's a couple of things you could do. One thing is, and what a lot of people recommend doing is, going to your appearance and going to your editor and then looking for your functions file which would be this uh, themes functions uh, link over here in the right hand side functions.php and changing the code there uh, the problem with that is that um if the theme author updates the theme you're going to lose your custom code so in a previous episode, I introduced you to a plugin um, called Code Snippets, and I'm going to continue using that one now. But if you haven't seen that video, definitely take a look at it. Um, but pretty much it's this plugin here. I'll go to Installed Plugins. And it's a Code Snippets uh, plugin. So you could just look for that in the WordPress repository. And I'll put a link to that in the description area below um, just in case. But we're going to go to our snippets link over here and we're going to add new and I'm going to give you a snippet of code that you can put in to prevent WordPress from compressing your image from 100% to 90%. So we're going to give it a title and we'll label it image 100%. Okay, so what we're going to do here is in this code section, we're going to type out add underscore filter and then you're going to want to open and close parentheses. And then after that, you want your semicolon. I like building these out um, from the beginning. So that way I don't miss opening and closing um, parts of the, uh, the code. So in there, you're going to want to put in single quotation marks. And you're going to put in JPEG quality. And then this is a comma separated. You have to then put in function and then parentheses dollar sign R and then you want to close that off that parenthesis off and then you're going to put in your curly braces so you put that there we're going to return 100 and put your semicolon all right so let's take a look at this code real quick so we're adding the filter but we want the opening and closing parentheses. Inside of there, we have what we're using JPEG underscore quality that is inside single quotation marks, comma separated, and then function. And then inside parentheses, we're going to put the dollar sign R. And then we're going to have the opening and closing um, curly brace. And then inside there, we'll have the return 100. And then we have, at the total end, we have this semicolon to finish that up. All right, so what we're going to do now here is go all the way down. Once we verify that the code is correct, we're going to go all the way down. We're going to save the changes and activate. All right, so the benefit of this is instead of um, editing your theme files in the editor and where the theme developer can update and then you'll lose your code or instead of creating a child theme you can just easily use this plugin uh, code snippets and then put in this code here uh, that's going to pretty much tell WordPress not to compress your images and this is particularly important for photographers or people who are selling uh, stock photos on their website and you don't want to downgrade the quality of that image because it can have an impact on the um on the image that you're trying to sell so just use this snippet of code 
and uh, it'll take care of that situation. And as always, don't forget to save changes and activate. I already have it active, so that's why it's giving me this option here to deactivate. Um, and that, that'll work. So hopefully you found this episode helpful. It's in particularly important for photographers. And if you wanted to, you could also, you know, decrease the quality of the image if you wanted uh, and put that to 70, and that'll make it 70%. Um, but we're going to leave it at 100 off of this one because this is, you know, um, targeted towards this code snippet here is targeted towards photographers and things of that nature. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'll be presenting you some more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.